So now we've learned the main chord progression of the chorus, we're now gonna head into the final part where we have the cool mesh in the bottle singing vocals. And it's gonna sound a little bit like this. Is it in a bottle? Is it in a bottle? So all I'm playing for this section is, again, the exact same chord shapes we've been playing throughout this entire song. So it's basically a C sharp power chord, but what we're doing is we're giving it a sus feel. And to give it the sus feel, we're basically gonna play an open B string and an open E string to support the chord, so it'll sound a little bit more like this. And then we're gonna play an A sus two, so we're gonna slide this exact same position, but release the A string and just slide it down to your normal A position. Like that, so we're gonna play an A sus two, and then from the A sus two, we're gonna go back to our C sharp sus. And this is how it would sound. We're just gonna pick through the chord, nothing too particular, so it'd be like this. finish off, the final chord is an F sharp major. Now if you're familiar with the prog rock band called Rush, you will refer to this chord most likely as the Alex Lifeson chord. And Alex Lifeson is famous for playing your standard sort of F sharp major like this, but instead of fretting down here, he'll put this finger up here and he'll leave the two open B and E strings like we were earlier to give it that sus feel and he'll play it like that just to make it sound a little bit more suspended and exciting. So now we've learnt the chorus in its entirety, we're going to head into verse number two and record the final loop onto track number three. Now this final loop is just going to be some power chords played in quite a rocky sort of palm mute fashion just to support the little... That little riff we recorded back in verse number one along with the drum beat. We're gonna do this in verse number two just to keep the loops exciting and continuously introducing new elements and new layers so it doesn't become too stagnant and stale. So what we're gonna play is we're gonna play a C sharp power chord, an A power chord, and then a B power chord followed by our F sharp power chord, the exact same chord shape we've literally been playing throughout this entire tutorial. And we're gonna play this type of pattern. So what I'm doing there is I'm accenting the two and the four of the beat, just where the snare hit is hitting. So the snare drum usually hits on beat two and beat four in your standard drum beat one and two and three and four, you see what I mean? So we're gonna do this so it has greater impact along with the drum beat we recorded previously. So when I play the drum beat in isolation, we're gonna count it like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... You can see it just gives it a little bit more push and a bit more presence and keeps the track grooving along. So we're gonna loop that onto track number three as follows. So that is it, we have successfully learned all of the loop elements in order to play a message in the bottle by the police as a one man band. We've learned the riff, we've learned the drums, and now we've learned the chorus and the final chord progression. Now be sure to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so you can catch my performance of this track on Sunday so you can see the whole thing as it is put together.